Hello, Kristen at KristenWombeck.com. How are you doing today? I am going to help you with some more of your Evernote questions. Today's question, question is how to create a planner in Evernote. So while I'm showing you these particular planners and how to make them, I have a freebie for you as well. So you're going to want to hang out for that. I may show you some of my brand new designs along the way. You will love it. We're going to learn some stuff here together and it's going to help you find your productivity happy place, right? And that's what we want to do. All right. So we ready to get started. I am going to share my screen. This is a very grassroots video, but it will help you. Everybody has to begin somewhere, right? Let me share my screen. Let me share my screen. Okay, I don't need that one. And here we go. I already have my Evernote open. Let me make it a little bit larger. There we go. If this is the first time you have sat down and spent this Evernote learning time with me, again, my name is Kristen Wambach. I have been using Evernote since I got my first iPad in 2005. I have tried other different applications. and Some of them are okay. The one feature that I love the best about Evernote, Evernote is its searchability. So over the course of all those years of using Evernote, from becoming a learner and a rookie, um, I began to teach it and share it, and now I build templates to help people and, you know, a little bit of history about me. I have 20 plus years of journaling under my belt. Um, and I think that's enough to get us going. I've been doing it for a while. So let's get started. I have the first one that's open up here. It is how to create an Evernote planner. I will try to go slow enough so those of you who are brand newbies with Evernote that you can see where I click, because that's really important. I go slow down. Where did they click? <laughs> Okay, let's get started. So first thing you want to open a note. First, you want to open up your Evernote account, and then you want to open up a note. So you will have it and it'll look just like this. Mm -hmm. Blank, nothing there. So the first thing I do is I open the gallery here. You have two options in the gallery is you can use your own templates that you've saved or you can use the templates in Evernote. Obviously, I prefer my templates because they're pretty. <laughs> you get the point here? Okay, so that is the reason why you want to create a template library, okay? So we have our note here, and you've opened it up. There you go. Creating a gallery. Why do you create a template gallery? So the purpose for creating it is it saves time because you're already familiar with that particular template and with the features that you use within it. So it really helps um, your productivity so you get things done a lot quicker because you're already familiar with the format in which you're going to put down your information. And they're always extremely editable, right? Editable. I said ed. Never mind. <laughs> Next, creativity. So creativity, that is why I, I build templates. I use templates because, again, when you are familiar with the format, that increases your creativity so you can work more efficiently, creatively, and productively. And that is a yes, yes, and amen. Okay, so we open a note. Before I go to the open note, I'm going to show you I have a template here, and it's just my check-off list 
I just wanted to tell you that I use my own stuff here and this is for journals. When I am creating a new daily journal, this is the template that I use. I have a checkoff list so that I make sure that when I'm creating it, I have all the parts and pieces to it. Very simple. That's a table right here. It's a table, very large. And this is simply a simple checklist. There you are. Mm -hmm. So, how to create a planner. Okay, first of all, and this is going to be a little bit of my coaching, my life coaching bent, is what is the purpose and the focus? Well, I want to write things down. Okay, well, that's a purpose to write things down. So when you write things down, you might write things like a grocery list. That's writing it down. Or you might write down your budget. Or you might be writing down better health, right? Those are all really good things. So again, we separated between writing it down, purpose, and focus. And last, like I said in the last video, when you write a thought or a notion down, that increases your memory 40% of remembering it. 40% productivity goes up just because you write it down. That, in, in my opinion, is enough reason to create and have a planner. All right. So purpose and focus. That is the most important thing. You want to plan things. Give them a time frame. You can put calendars in, tasks, reminders, weekly, monthly, annual, right? All these things. You're going, yes, I know that you can put those things, but it's absolutely beginning somewhere. So when you know your purpose and your focus, that helps to keep you motivated and moving forward. And that's what we want, right? We don't need a whole bunch of apps sitting on our computer, on our desktop, on our phone that we're not using, right? Okay. So here we go. Absolutely. So we are going to start with the purpose. Now, one of the easiest things for you to begin doing a template and a planner is creating a table. So right up here, see the little blue X or cross in mid left hand up there? <laughs> that right there, it says to insert. This inserts any of the features that you have available to you in your free or your paid account. So I inserted a table. Now you cannot put a table in a table, right? So you insert a table that is one of the best places to begin planning. Then what I would do is I would start to write down what is your purpose and your focus. So we could go purpose and focus. And we've begun. You have to begin somewhere. If I gave you this huge template with all these parts and pieces to it, if you didn't have a purpose and a focus, you wouldn't get too far on it. So what were some of my suggestions? Oh, a grocery list. That's the purpose. What's the focus? To save time and money, right? There you go. Now right here, see how I put my cursor down there at the bottom on the line. And here you go. Here's the little blue X again. And I can add as many lines as I want. And you can continue to write down your purpose and your focus throughout and you've begun to plan. That makes it a planner. Does it not? It makes it a planner. So write down your purpose and your focus for your planners. Weekly, monthly, all works together. You've begun. Now let me show you a little trick here. If you go up to see the four dots there, the four dots in the square in the upper left hand corner of your table, click that. And that highlights it all in blue, and that is how you copy and paste your table. Right-click it, hit copy, drop down below, and there you go. You can paste the thing. So therefore, you have the ability to make another note in a different category, 
and you can take what you've purposed and what you've focused on and you can move that throughout and you begin to create a template with features in it that you are familiar with. And that is just very rudimentary on how do you create a planner mm -hmm. because we planned something. There's so many wonderful features and benefits. Now, I am going to share with you, this is my very favorite, and this is weekly view. So this is how I set up a weekly view in the different planners that I sell and offer to my customers. And I have a question right at the top. Why pretty is motivation, personal is application. And that is why I did the hashtag pretty Evernote templates. Mm -hmm. That's where it all came from because when it's pretty, it motivates me. When it's something that I'm interested in too and it creates and it changes the atmosphere in which I'm in, that's the reason why there's pretty. When it's personal, when I put my name on it, that gives me the application to get it done. That's the energy and the momentum. Okay, let me show you this wonderful template. I always start with an affirmation. I need positive thoughts first thing in the morning. <laughs> Success is the sum of small efforts repeated day in and day out. And that's what I call a planner. Mm -hmm. Robert Collier. And I always in a weekly, because it's just as important as the day, is how am I doing on my water? Am I keeping it handy and drinking it? And my meal content for the day. If we neglect ourselves, then our planners, our plan for the day is weekend, right? So we just, that's part of planning is taking care of self. So this is a simple planner for the week, but it has every day and it's super easy. Let me show you the whole thing. Monday review. So at the end of today, today's a Monday. I'm going to review myself, review this particular YouTube video. And again, I come right back from affirmations to a gratitude journal. Absolutely every one of my planners have gratitude journals, gratitude implementations everywhere. It's what keeps our heart accessible for doing life. Amen. Okay. So it's a gratitude journal. Then at the end of the week, I put a Friday review. Hmm. What did I like? What did I not like? Meals, clips, recipes, whatever it is, you can change it. Websites and links that I spent time learning. Mm -hmm. What are the highlights for the week? And what areas do I need to focus on? That is a simple outline for a weekly planner template. And there you have it. Mm -hmm. And yes, I thought ahead of time for you. I want to bless you in your Evernote journey. So right here is a personalization Canva link. So what it is, it goes back and this template here, this header, that's exactly what the link is so that you can make your own headers and you can begin to put in your pretty, which motivates you and your personal, which gives you the application to show up every day. Mm -hmm. So the headers are 2735 by 200 and it's a small size JPEG. Why? Small size JPEG so you can save it in templates. Let me show you right here. Right here, see the ellipsis, the three small dots in the upper right hand corner. More action, aha, we can save it as template and it'll save it directly into your account. But this only applies for paid accounts. If you have a free account, how do you get around that? By duplicating a clean copy of your notes, your template every day before you use it. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> there you go. 
So I had a feeling that you're going, oh, that's just so easy and nice and laid out well and motivational, right? There it is. So what did I do? Ha <laughs> ha. I have created a shareable link to you. Let me sh with you because I wanted you to have it. So that's my gift to you today to give you a weekly view right there. And I'll show you what it looks like. There it is. So when you hit that live template, like here, when you hit that, dink, there it is. Weekly view. I'm teaching you now how to download a template. So here's your weekly view right here. Totally editable, customizable. You have the, the personal Canva link so you can change your headers and make it your own. And right here is where you save a copy to your Evernote account. That simple, a free gift from me today. I'm going to turn off. Let me make sure I answered all the questions. I think I did. Purpose of creating a gallery of templates. So it saves time. I did. How to create a planner. Yep, we did that. I gave you one. So I gave you one so that you can learn from that format to actually make your own. Alrighty. I am going to stop share. And there we go. Well, thank you so much for spending this time with me to get together. I love Evernote. And yes, I'm going to show you some of my templates because how do I learn? I learn when I share and I learn from other people. And that way it increases what I currently know. So I learn faster when somebody shows me, when I walk hand in hand with somebody. So I shared with you, make sure you say something, ask me questions in the comments. I really appreciate it. If you have any more other questions, I'll be happy to help you and make sure you check out my store. I have two. I have an Etsy store and I have a KristenWalbeck.com. I have lots of goodies there that will help you find your productivity happy place. Remember, I'm here to help you succeed in life and in the marketplace. This has been my pleasure. I'll talk to you later. Bye now.